A very good morning to you. Wishing you nothing but happiness. Happy New Year. My God. It's 2021, people. It's the 4th of January. It feels like the 1st of January for me because now I'm back to work. I don't know about you, but the kids are going back to school. Like it's all systems go from the 4th of January, from today. Traffic is back. Kids in uniform. I don't know where you're waking up from this morning, what it looks like, but you can talk to us about all of that. A triple one, triple four, triple one for just a shilling. That is our SMS line. On social media, find us on Instagram. That is Switch TV on Facebook, Switch TV Kenya, and welcome to Full Circle with Mukali. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday. How did you spend it? Did you spend it with your family, with friends? Were you working? What is it that you were doing? I need to know. So just text us. And just to give you a sneak preview of what we'll be looking at uh, this morning, hmm, it's about that time. We take time, re we, we reflect introspectively at what we want the year to look like have you written down uh noted down your new year's resolutions have you done all of that are you looking at the budget and be like ha how do i make things right and have you heard justina sioka song 2021 because all of that is what we're going to be having on the show today so stick around for that but remember to tell me if you've written down your resolutions and what they are you can send that to triple one triple four triple one did i say my name is Mikali? just in case you forgot okay quote of the day remember how was that encouraging empowering you out there so the quote of the day today comes from Josen dizon and it says i hope you realize that every day is a fresh start for you I hope you realize that every day is a fresh start for you, that every sunrise is a new chapter in your life waiting to be written. I hope that you realize that every day is a fresh start for you, that every sunrise is a new chapter in your life waiting to be written. I know we're talking about the sunrise and all of that, but this is a whole new year, guys. It's a whole new year. That means it's a fresh start, it's a clean slate, and you can be and do whatever it is that you put your mind to and it doesn't matter what last year looked like you've been given a chance to start over to see a new chapter a new year do something about it yeah sour sour and you know tied into that i asked you about your new year resolutions and if you've done anything about it so it's not all talk because my guest in studio today is going to help us understand how to even make those plans and how to make them stick most, is, most important to make them stick. And our guest today is Judy Mzungu Kakula, who's the founder, um, director of the Realignment Program. Welcome to the show and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Man. You look really fresh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking too energized yourself. I am, <laughs> I am, I am. I have, I have taken quite the rest. Wow. So I'm happy to be back. I think it wouldn't be fair if I came here just sulking no, no. after being away for two weeks no, no. and it's 2021. You have enough energy for all yes, of us. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That right. is so true. Okay. Kari Busana, Asante. kindly introduce yourself to the people and even tell us a little bit more about the realign realignment program. The realignment program. Yes. My name is Judy Mzungu Hakula. Mm -hmm. I'm a kingdom life coach. I coach from the uh, basis of the Bible. Yes. Okay. And then um, the realignment program is essentially about aligning the body, the soul, and the spirit because we understand that we are all spiritual beings. So the reason why, when you start talking about, um, about resolutions, the reason why we, our resolutions don't come to pass is because we are not aligned body, soul, and spirit. Oh, wow. And that's what the realignment program comes to empower you so that then you begin to work on your body, soul and spirit. And it puts you at a place where you're able then to draw uh, resolutions or draw goals based on who you are as a person. When you say realignment, actually, it comes to mind that I'm already aligned on a certain path. It could be a good path, a bad it, path. It yes. could just be a weakly decided path. Yes. You know, but yes. realigning is just taking time to... You know, think back on what this path I'm on. What, what, yeah, what, what path are you on and is it God's path mm -hmm. for you? And that's why we start by understanding that we are spiritual beings first and foremost. Because okay. all of us, by the way, when you came to planet Earth, God had a canvas for you. That's true. 
but uh, uh, somewhere along the way we missed it either because you are put in the wrong environment no one would actually be able to tell what are your gifts and abilities and be able to put you in the right place mm -hmm. or probably you got you just experienced a lot of heart pain and disappointment mm -hmm. that also served to muzzle who you are on the inside and so the realignment program is about us coming together to help you put uh, switch on the light bulb so that then you're able to see who are you and then go back to the path and begin then to have clarity because you cannot write goals from the place of not understanding who you are mm. as a person you cannot true. write goals if you don't have your sense of identity your sense of worth is not in check and do I need to feel that I am not okay for me to get into the program? I mean, it is open for anybody. It's, op you... it's open for every. It's open really for everybody. But the thing about it is, mm. if, as you begin to introspect, then you'll realize that there are some things that are not right. But most of the time, by the way, we we get we wing it. Yeah, that's true. You that's know, true. And yes. we're changing that today. Yes, we are changing <laughs> that today because it, it's it's a place where we can say, what can I do? to actually find fulfillment in life. You see this energy that you carried? Yes. It comes from the place of knowing I am in my place. I am doing what I need to do. Yes. But even as you do that, then there are other aspects of your life that you also need to check. Yeah. Are your relationships in order? Yeah. Are, are your finances in order? Is your health and wellness in order? And all that becomes then a journey that you must consciously take. But that will only happen if someone comes and tells you, you need to stop and think about it. Uh, and most of the times this happens in January and I don't know what happens. I think it's just the the feeling of newness the or of newness. An, another chance yes. that you've been given. It's new. It's yes. ha happy new year. Yes. So what are you going to do about the happy new yourself? So we come up with resolutions and we are told to write them down. Yes. Have you already done that for yourself, Judy? Yes, I have. You I, did? Yes, I have. Did you do it last year, like end of the year or beginning of the year? Actually, you know, the realignment program has been ongoing. So we, we ah. did it together with the class that was um, happening in December so that then we prepared them for January. yes yes but the thing about it is our approach to setting goals is you have to align and then have clarity then after you have clarity then you can be able to see your vision you can be able to see your goals from the perspective of I know who I am mm -hmm. I know my sense of worth and value because that gets diminished somewhere along the way yeah. but you must come to the place where you understand who you are and then what are you cut out to do once you get get that place of understanding that then you begin to map out your strategy for where you want to go and then also set boundaries set borderlines for this is how my life is going to move going forward because alignment even if you think about a vehicle a, mm -hmm. a vehicle keeps going for realignment yes. yeah yes. so you have to think that it's going to be a conscious journey but the thing about it is once you know you're more empowered that's powerful um when we talk about all these things about realigning and writing down your resolutions and all of that you yes. mentioned something very important that along the way yes we lose sight or we we get carried away with the things that uh, happen to us as normal human beings yes how then do i stick how do i make my resolutions stick okay first and foremost it starts from you finding out your finding out who you are who you are yes, yes. so yes. body finding out let's start from the spirit because okay. man focuses on the body we focus on the external but really it's the spirit we have to understand that we are spiritual beings okay so our focus has to be the spirit because the spirit it op picture it this way it's like a gps of heaven okay. locating you as mwikali okay and that gps will locate you based on your spirit ah so okay. then you have to come to that place where you consciously take a moment to find stillness then to hear the signal from heaven. So when you hear the signal from heaven, which then aligns you to where, where Mikali needs to go, mm -hmm. then now that signal moves to the soul. Mm. Okay. Your soul is your intellect. It's made up of your intellect, your emotions, and your will. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So then that comes to the place where now you begin to think, what am I taking in? Is, um, am I, is my intellect so aligned that even when a signal comes in terms of an idea, do I have the capacity to process and convert that idea into action? Oh, wow. You understand where now we begin yes. to miss it? Yes, I see. I see. Yes. It's a whole process. It's a whole process. And you, it, that's what I'm talking about. It, you have to be aligned for you to write goals. Many of us write goals, and that's where we miss it. Because you're writing goals from the point of 
uh, everyone is buying plots in Kamulu, even you are buying a plot in Kamulu, but is that God's purpose for your life? <laughs> 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 because even the things when I look because you know I keep those things yes. when I look at how I used to write my new year resolutions yes. back in the day yes. compared to now it's totally different yes. totally different because um, it will be more physical more materialistic I want to be CEO of na 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 yes. I want to own this I want to own this but then lately things have changed a bit where mm. you think about what relationships that you're comfortable with yes. and those are not resolutions that most people think about no no, and yet they are important. They are very they are important. important. And now we'll get to the to the next place where then we begin to think about the resolutions that we need to form. Yeah. Oh, wow. So intellect. Then we talked about the intellect, the yes. emotion, and the will. Yes. And now having being able to process all that, mm -hmm. then that comes to the question where you are where you are talking about the things that happened to us. You yes. realize that when your emotions are dented, your sense of value, your sense of worth is not in check. Therefore, you are not able to even see clearly. You are not able to see clearly. You can do so much more. Yeah. Just but like, because something happened that affected your self-esteem. You beat yourself down. You beat yourself down and then your goals are much less than what... Or you stop even seeing them. Or you, you stop seeing You even think that you're not, you don't deserve those things. Exactly. You're like, who is that? If, mm -hmm. if that and so and so said this about me, or if that man left me, yes. then I don't deserve that big house. Y yes. Oh my God. I don't know what your resolutions are, guys, but <laughs> triple one, triple four, triple one, what things do you want to achieve this year and are you listening to this conversation let us also know where you're watching us from we're taking a very short commercial break we'll be right back with judy Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. Hope you guys are having a great, great morning. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you're doing great. Lewis Brown Madenge saying Happy New Year, joining from Meru. Thank you for tuning in, Lewis. Amo Katello, Switch TV. Good morning. United State of Riru. Well represented. Blessed love, guys. Steven Yogurtman, Happy New Year 2021. Jack Macharia, you're tuned in. Betty Nemo, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Jad Regan, Happy New Year. You're locked. Abu Joseph, morning to you too. Nimeamua ku watch. Dionyende Shule, na wapenda sana. Tunakupenda Zaidi. And all the best with school. Uh, Mary is my 2021 soulmate. Hello. Hi. Is this your New Year resolution? Uh, she always makes my day, Badal Masood. Thank you so much for that and Happy New Year to you too. Emma and Dongo, you're locked. Uh, Kagenyi, Mali Mali, Unasema Charagita, Nyandarwa County, well represented. Bay D. Asli, watching from Macha, from Karatina. We have Charles Kafukafu already tuned in. Evening Mimi, Happy New Year to you too, and you're tuned already. Remember, you can tell us oh, have you made your New Year resolutions? What is it that you want to achieve this year? Please send that text to us. And if you're having any problems whatsoever with, you know, making this year resolutions or because you failed um, or did not quite tick all the boxes for last year's resolutions, I was giving Judy a very interesting story about what I did about two years ago. I went, paid some money to be, you know, alone, serene environment. Mid-January, Ndoni and Dika New Resolutions. I'm like, you don't have to do it first of January, Mwikali. You know better than that. <laughs> And then, end of the year, nothing was done, Judy. I was just like, huh? You know, like, there was, like, the basic one, get to know God more. Like, I count the many times I went to church that year. Yes. And I was like, you know, we, we do this every year. And there's some, some of these uh, resolutions, Zinakwanga, uh, every year, you write yes. them down. Every yes. year, you write them down. Yes. What really happens to us? The first thing, like I said, the yeah. first place is alignment. Yeah. Because you're, if you're out of alignment, you, even when you took a, when you took that time away, <laughs> you, are, you, t you probably, well, whatever, you really think about yourself, probably okay. you are also operating from a place of brokenness. That is true. And so the realignment program is actually about bringing you back together to wholeness. As you come to the place of wholeness, then you have clarity. Do you think that is something that Judy, anyone can just do alone? You know, or th do we need help to, you know, realign? And the reason why you need help is that sometimes you need someone, a coach, who looks at you from the outside and says, Mwikali, you can do this. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Many times we don't, we actually don't have the self-discipline because it takes time. You have to sit mm. and really take time to know yourself. Yeah. But because sometimes we don't, we are not that much disciplined, it's okay to get external help to say, look, I need help. Come and help me. Show me. 
what is it about myself and help to just switch on the light bulb in my life within myself mm -hmm. once then you begin to see yourself clearly you can then write goals from a place of i know who i am okay that's what the realignment program is all about so we've talked majorly on like personal goals yes. and resolutions and yes. new year but we can't ignore companies that also you know small big all together you know even family visions yes. and or even like um you know, relationships where you and your man are like, this is what we want to do this year. How do you go about then that? Because it's not just you. Then you're focusing on many other people, just one other person. In fact, let me say, when you think about goals, let's start with yourself. First. Okay. And I'll, I'll just break down the kind of goals that you need to write that will help you move into the place of alignment. Thank you. Judy. So the first goal you need to, we say that we are spiritual beings. Yes. So the first goals that you need to write is to target your spirit man. Okay. Which means, and they are simple, but they are not too complicated. Right. Like, take time to pray, take time to meditate. You took time out for, is it a week or whatever, to set out goals. But imagine if, Mikali, you actually purposed on a daily basis, 30 minutes, I'll take time to introspect. I'll take time to still myself so that I can hear. Okay. You understand? Yeah. So it's the place of solitude. It's the place of reflection. It's the place of meditation. Okay. Take 30 minutes on a daily. That's... It, that's uh, that's that's okay. That's doable. That's doable. Yeah. You understand? It's yeah. because if you mm -hmm. wait to do it, uh, you you have very long term goals. It makes it difficult for you to achieve. But if you do it on a daily, then, well, then you realize it becomes easier. a habit. It becomes yeah. easier. Yeah. yeah. So the first goals that you need to have is a spiritual goal. So because you must align your spirit to hear from heaven. Okay. Then the second goal that you must uh, go for is your relationship goals. And the reason you're going for your relation for relationship goals is because the reason why your emotions become damaged is because of the people around you. It's the things that happened to you because of the relationships that you went through. Mm -hmm. Half the time you didn't know your value. Mm -hmm. So because you didn't know your value, anyone came in into your life and wrote whatever they needed to write. Yeah. But as you write your relationship goals, now it's time for you to think, who am I letting into my, who is yes, my confidant? Yeah. Who is my inner circle? Mm. Who is in my team? What, who is going to help me to get where I need to go? And that doesn't mean that you won't serve other people, but then you become very intentional about the people you let into your life. And the, you now, after going through the realignment program, you understand your value system. And based on your value system, then it guides you to know who it is that you can allow into your space. Okay. That becomes your relationship goal. Wow. Okay. And then the third goal that you need to go for is health and wellness. Mm -hmm. Because you must understand that your body is the vessel that will take you where you want to go. To go. So as you think about health and wellness, again, set aside 30 minutes, maybe an hour mm -hmm. to walk, run, whatever, go to the gym. You, you can find something that you can do even within the house to take care of your body. Because the moment your body feels better, you actually feel good about your life. Mm. Your self-esteem gets boosted. That goal has been in my list for 15 years. Do you how think we you, have hope? Yes, how have, you, how have you been going about it? Probably you are talking about going to the gym. You yeah, that's understand? exactly what yes. I'm talking about. But you see, you can break it down. When you're in your own neighborhood, yes. imagine you can take a walk mm -hmm. with your earphones. Yes. And be, it will be part of your medicine. You, you understand? So it will double up. Mm -hmm. You're actually doing your spiritual and you're doing your exercise at the same time. Mm. Yes, because you also take time to meditate. You you're are medit alone. You're alone. You're yes. walking, listening to quiet music as yeah. you. You understand? Yes. So it's, it's probably it's the you're, you're going for the long haul and that's where we miss it okay but if you do it in small steady steps in something that you enjoy bef before you know actually you're aligned all the mikalis out there you know this is the year <laughs> it doesn't have to be the gym guys just take a walk okay yes okay and then we'll party reports <laughs> Let's talk about vision boards. And it's something that we've seen. The trend has come up uh, over the last couple of years where people have vision boards. And Unandika, you share it with your friends, accountability partners and all. Yes. How effective is that? How effective is that? Now, the vision board, you cannot, you cannot even come up with a vision, vision board, board without clarity. That's true. You understand? Yes. Yes. So as we think, as as, as we think about our, our our goals, and then we, we now we go back. The the reason I'm going by these goals is because mm -hmm. all these goals picture that when you're talking about your spiritual life, you're talking about your spirit man. Yes. You're already aligning yes. your spirit man. That is true. When you talk about relationships, you're already beginning to align your soul. When you talk about health and wellness, you're aligning your body. 
then of course you have to do financial goals because whether we like it or not, money answereth all things. That's true. But then now you come to a place where you actually look at where your finances are and then you guide yourself to where you need your finances to go. Mm -hmm. And then you must create time for recreation. That's important. That's important. I because think that's you must what we do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest over here, guys. <laughs> Just like you're the gold number one. This yes. year, I must travel the world. Yes. Global tour. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But then again. It's important. But then. It's important. Yeah. But even again, when you think about recreation, I'm saying even mm -hmm. within a day, you can actually, or maybe a week, you can take time to recreate. Take time, spend time by yourself. I mm -hmm. keep saying, there's Karura Forest. Do you know it costs 100 bob to yes. get into Karura Forest? Imagine I very know. And we don't even you know. Look. Imagine. Yes. And it's a very serene environment. Yes. You can actually go relax. It's part of your recreation. It's part of your health and wellness. All packaged in one. It's just that you haven't purposed to really think about it. Yeah. And then the other goal that you need to think about is service to others because your soul will find, commit, uh, will find fulfillment in you being able to serve others. So those are the different kind of goals that you must purpose to write. And as you think about it, understand that all these goals are targeting body, soul, and spirit. They are not just goals out there. Yeah. That's where we miss it. Because once you keep on doing it on a daily, when you keep on incorporating these goals on a daily basis, then it becomes part of your habit. It becomes part of your lifestyle. And guess what? Your body, soul, and spirit is becoming aligned. That is so true. And I love the fact that we don't have to do the big chunks at once. Yes. Because it's not about that. It's about it becoming a habit. Yes. Because um, most of the things that happen in January, I'm just going to go with the gym story again. Yes. yes. January heavy. You pay for three months yes, gym yes but then your body is not even ready for that mm -hmm. but your money is already left yes. that means even your financial goals are going to be losing yes. because you might not end up going there which maybe you could just have walked or mm. paid their hundred bob yes, at yes. karura and yes. just you know and, that and do on uh, do every saturday do every sunday yeah, and yeah. just walk and it's it's something you look forward to because as you go there you actually find re re recreation you're actually recharging your batteries and you're uh, in the s at the same time exercising your body <laughs> I hope you guys are taking note. All of those important goals that you should set for yourself. Happy New Year. I'm Linda from Kitale. Show Ikoju, please. Um, as Asanteni Sana, thank you. You're not telling us where you're watching us from. Mwingine uh, Anasema. Hi, Baba Soni from Rongai. Really loving the show. Hi, Mwikali Sabrina. Now I watch Nikiwa Meru before Nishie uh, Chuo. Happy New Year, Mikali. Sana. Let me watch the show before it looks like most guys are going back to school this morning. And we wish you all the best. And it doesn't mean even if you you don't have goals for yourself. You have study goals. You have all these goals actually can be put into each and every aspect of your life, depending on wherever you're at in life. Mm -hmm. School, as a father, as a mother, as a partner, as a boss. All of these things work. So how do people join then or become part of uh, the realignment program? The realignment program. You can find me on 0714-722-733 mm -hmm. or 0784-722-733. Uh, we, we have two options. We have online where we actually go through the program online once a week. It's mm -hmm. an eight-week program, by the way, where we look at all these aspects so that by the time you finish the eight weeks, you do have a degree of clarity that then will guide you on how to write your goals with, you know, with understanding your purpose, understanding who you are. And then we also have an on-site program, which we do at Luther Plaza from 9 to 12 o'clock every Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning? Yes. Okay. And for the Saturday morning, how long do I have to take it's the classes eight, It's eight weeks. Just eight weeks, it's even eight for weeks. the one? Yes. Okay. Yes. Have you ever had instances where I will come for it and then somehow I sleep back? You know, there are those things for I will probably will sleep. And we talked about it earlier, yes, the yes. diminishing bit of it, where yes. you feel like you don't, you're not worth this and that, that yes. you had set yourself out for. Yes. It, it happens because, again, it's just like a vehicle. You go for alignment today, yeah. and then after a while, you drive for a while. You're, mm -hmm. But the thing about it is once you know, because half of the time, we really don't know. But because you're aware, the fact that you're uh, aware okay. makes you begin to kick yourself in the right direction. 
I understand. Yeah, you get it. Eh? Yeah. Yes. But so it's a continuous process. And that's why even as we started, we started with realignment. But then after we realign you, we mm. actually help you to write your goals. And then we help you to draw your vision board based on who you are. Because you're drawing a vision board based on who you don't even understand yourself. Yeah. The other thing that people say that you change, like you're not the same person you were last year or this year or later, maybe in the year. Uh. Do you think that will also be like a factor to consider when you're getting into this program or when you start setting out your goals or when you look back like I did and I'm yes. like, wow, who was that person? <laughs> Even yes. the, th the three-paged one, yes. who was that person again, you know? It, but you're changing, but sometimes you change. Is, it, is, is your change positive or negative? Uh, okay. Is your change based on you, you uh, being in charge, taking the steering wheel of your life and deciding this is the direction I want to go? Or is it that life is hitting you and then you're changing somewhere along the way? You understand? Oh my eh? God, it so, works <laughs> in a way though. Life yeah. <laughs> beats you and you're just like hey, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. but you see you understand yeah. and that's the point of relationship goals that's the point of setting aside all these goals so that you can sit on the driver's seat of your life you okay. know where where it is you want to go even and as you're being beat down yeah even when things will happen but even if they do happen to you you're more in charge your ability to bounce back is better because you have a sense of identity you have mm -hmm. a sense of what mm. yeah and that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. Is that where purpose thing. now comes that's in? That's where purpose comes in. Because unless you come to the place where you value yourself as a person, anyone goes. And what would we say about all these people who've been in, let's just peak relationship, because it's one of the goals that we need to set up. Yes. And we are all in it, right? We're yes. waiting for Benjamin Zulu to <laughs> beat us down <laughs> with that conversation. <laughs> But just before he does, yes. we, we look at relationships So you're stuck in one space for a very long time and everybody around you is looking at you, wondering why can't you just move? Why can't you just leave? But you see, the, and that, that's, that's the thing because everyone else and half the people or three quarters of the people around us don't even understand your value. Eh? Oh God. Yeah. So everyone is guiding you based on what they think. What are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. But is that is that God's script for your life? Mm. But mm. once you come to the place where you know yourself, Mwikali, you come to the place where not any guy atakame kujananini, you are able to decide this is who Mwikali stands for, and I can't take anything less than the best. Okay. So realignment program actually comes to empower you. That not, you're not going to be sitting, having coffee with everyone. Mm -mm. No. No. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you need to choose. Are you realigned? <laughs> this is the year. <laughs> not everybody sitting down. No. When your time is like free. I exactly. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. And not even just relationships, boy, girl. It even goes to friendships. Yes. That now you come to the place where, Mwikali, you're very aware of where you want to go. And because you're very aware and you know who you are, then you can dictate who comes into your life and are they able to speak life into you? Ah, okay. Are they bringing value? Are, are they, they bringing taking, value or taking, not? Taking. Do you understand? Yeah? Yes. Yes. And once you take charge, you know, realignment actually helps you to take charge. And then once you take charge, you're actually able to pour out it to other people from the place of positivity yeah. because you are whole. That is true. I remember a quote we did last year we, uh, on the show, mm. and it was like, life happens from within you, yes. not to you. Thank so you... I think it's important to note that you, you need to be... Like, what I've gathered from all of this is that you need to be in charge. Yes. You need to know and you need to listen. It all comes from the introspective things that yes. you say to yourself, yes. you think about yourself. Yes. Because if I think about myself as not worth it, then I'll not be worth it. Yes. And, it, and, and, this, and our approach is different from how you can say mantra, mantra, mantra. Yes. But you're mantraing to something that's broken inside. Ah, so we fix. So let's fix the inside and then now come out so that your inside and your outside is aligned. Oh my goodness. As we come to the end, Judy, please give us the, what are they called? The goals again. Mm. So if you did not take the notes, these are the different goals that you need to set for yourself. Let me need to answer. Mm. Financial goals. <laughs> <laughs> so the first goal that you must set is spiritual, spiritual. goals. Yes. Then your relationship goals. Yeah. Do then they need to follow each other in that particular order? It's important because important it's important do. because okay. we understand we are spirit beings. Yes. yes. So that's where it begins. That's where it begins. Okay. So spiritual goals, mm -hmm. then your relationship goals, mm -hmm. then your health and wellness, yes. then your career and finance goals, yes. then your recreation goals, then your service to others.
That's beautiful. There's six. Yes. I hope you guys wrote them down. Kama umeshika kwa class. Triple one, triple four, triple one. What are those goals? There's six of them. Yes. Twandikie tu hapo help others who haven't seen on social media as well. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Thank you, Judy, for coming through. Again, where can people find you? Just in case, you know, you're Tunanza Mwaka. Oh, Tunanza Mwaka. Yes. 0714722733. 0784722733. You can also catch me on social media, Safarini with Judim Zungu Hakula, where we take the journey of life together. Thank you so much for coming through. Asante sana ah, nashkuru. This was powerful, guys. <laughs> it feels like Lilikuwa na chapwa left right center of truths that I need in my life. I don't know about you, but it's exactly what I need at the beginning of the year. Happy New Year to you guys. We're taking a very short commercial break. We'll be right back. This is Full Circle with Mukabi.